guys, what's up? It's me, Susie, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on that link or that thumbnail, the picture of whatever the thumbnail was. I don't know what you clicked on, you know what you clicked on, but whichever, but, but whatever you clicked on, thank you so much for clicking on it. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a meal prep, grocery haul, just take you along with me kind of vlog, video thing. I don't really know. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm feeling a little sick. I know that I'm getting sick. I just feel it in my whole body because I go to school with disgusting people and everyone's getting sick. And I literally, there was this girl in my college algebra class and she was coughing all up on me right next to me. And I was like, girl, if you don't scoot over in 3, 2, 1, I'm gonna kill you. But anyways. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to take you guys along with me for like a little like healthy motivational video kind of thing. I don't really know. I'm trying this new thing where like I try and prepare ahead of time rather than do things last minute. You know how it is. Probably not gonna probably not gonna work out, but it's worth a shot. So yeah, if this is the first time you have seen my face, hey what's up? I'm Susie and like I said, I would love it if you would go ahead and like and subscribe, join this dab family A. Hey, you know how it is. Dab game strong AF over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, you get it. Subscribe. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll wait. I'm gonna go ahead. I need to make my bed because it's a mess. I need to put some laundry in and I need to just kind of organize things and then I'm going to go to the gym. It's cardio day, so I'm literally just gonna like run, spin, probably like 30 to 45 minutes of cardio because I'm on like this workout plan, which I'll do later if you guys want to see a video like of my workout plan. I'll totally do that. But And then I'm going to go get a smoothie and I'm gonna go to the grocery store and shop and I'll go ahead and bring you guys with me, show you what I get then I'm gonna go ahead and meal prep and I'll just take you guys along with me for all of it <laughs> oh yeah it should be a good time honestly what is it not you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying anyways yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and get started I put my, some laundry in because I have a lot of laundry, you know, I got some pretty dirty. Just kidding. <laughs> Guys, look how cute my apartment is. Aww. 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 So lately what I've been working out to is Tori Sterling's Spin to This playlist on Spotify. There are literally like 500 and something songs on here and I really like them they are like really a beat and obviously she's a spin instructor so they like have they all have like a really good beat and so that's what I've been working out to I like it a lot and then I'm just gonna take my water in this I got this from Walmart it was like eight dollars I think which is so good because it's freaking huge like it's so big and it keeps my like water cold for so long and you can't see in there, but I have a couple of lemons underneath the ice. So I have my lemon water and my workout. And I'm going to go ahead and go over. Not even like slow down, so I just stopped, like almost fell off, but <laughs> whatever, it's fine. I guess I'm not mad, I don't really know, but um, I like ran the first mile and then I started like power walking uphill and I just like alternated that. And so for the main remainder of the second mile, I power walked an incline of five and then walked at 4.2. Um, and so it was about 22 minutes and I was about to hit, um, hit two miles, so whatever, I guess. That stopped it for me. So now I'm going to spin. Okay, here we go. Watch me look. I did five miles on there, and so I spent about 20 minutes on there, and I just like alternate between going really quickly and then doing like the up and down where you kind of stand on it, and then just sitting. But I made sure to drink water throughout the whole thing because 
I was already sweating a lot because I like ran the mile and a half and then spinning is like crazy sweat wise so I wanted to make sure to stay hydrated so if you do the same make sure you drink water and stay hydrated and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch I'll probably go downstairs to do that vlog video thing, Mariah. <laughs> Hello. So I'm back in apartment. I'm back and I'm better. Yeah, I'm back and better than ever. And uh, that was hard. Truly and honestly, I'm a little, little tired. I decided what I'm going to meal prep. And I'm excited. I have these, little, well, they're Mariah's, but she's letting me use them. Let me turn this light on. These cool little meal prep containers. So I'm going to use these. Aren't these cool? So handy. So like YouTuber. But I'm, I'm in the car getting ready to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna go through the drive through at Smoothie King and get uh, like meal replacement ish smoothie. I don't know. I'm gonna stop before I go to the store. I don't know if you can see like all of this recycling. Like, my apartment doesn't do recycling, which is like probably the dumbest thing that I've ever heard in my whole life. My friend lives in a dorm on campus and they have recycling there, so I'm going to stop by there and drop off all the recycling. Oh, onwards and forwards we go, my friends. Onwards and forwards we go. <laughs> Thank you so much Woo! for letting me drop my recycling off at your beautiful, lovely home called DeGrafica. This okay. is Julia. Say hello, this is Hi. Alejandro. They're my lord and saviors, angels from above. And what's, hey, excuse me, what is today? Um, Beyonce's birthday. birthday. Alejandro right. and Julia are amazing. Um, Alejandro did this last year. He printed up like pictures of Beyonce for B-Day, her birthday, and they look so good this year. Okay, I'm going to Publix now. Okay, so I just got to Publix. It looks like it's really crowded. I'm really dreading any form of social interaction. Oh my God. Mm. Okay guys, so I just got out of Publix and it was really, really, really crowded. Did you see this flustered look on my face? Yes, it's because it was crowded. But my cashier lady was nice. She was cute. She was in college and we talked about how we're both not ready for school to start back. Bagger guy was really cute. Bagger guy, if you ever see this, my number is um, one 800 for woman pain Sorry I couldn't vlog more in there, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I literally hate it when people do this. This is like, here's the cart thing right here and that's where you choose to leave your cart. Let me know. I walked so far to put my cart away. Do you see me walking right now, sweating out here, struggling out here, Tallahassee, Florida, out here. Nice thing about the Publix is this nice bag of ice. Uh, it's been sitting in our freezer for three, two weeks now and I'm gonna melt it because why do we have it? Okay, so really quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys how I kind of like meal prep my snacks. And I don't have like a lot of snacks, but I'll just kind of show you what I've been doing. And it seems to be working. It makes my life a lot easier. So this is an example of what I do. I just take a small Ziploc sandwich bag. And so this is like the bags that I'm using. And I just put around like a serving size of whatever said snack in this baggie. And so this is from last week. Um, obviously they're still good. Pretzels. These are some pistachios from last week. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the pistachios and the pretzels with the baggies. I'll kind of speed through that. Okay, so I have three baggies of pistachios for snacks. I have two of just these regular little stick pretzels. So I'm gonna set these aside. And then next, the only two things that I will be um, prepping like snack-wise are these honey pretzels and just these baby carrots, just so I don't have to like continue to like seal this bag because I feel like that's like annoying and could be possibly kind of gross. So I'll start with pretzels. It says the serving size are about eight pretzels, which is literally nothing. So I'm gonna be like 10 maybe 12 just because I'm not trying to take up 20 baggies here. And like you can always do like two or three serving sizes, four serving sizes, like whatever. I just think it's a little easier if I can just grab and go. I'm just gonna take a handful, put them in there. Yeah, okay, so a handful ended up being about 10 pretzels, which is perfect. So I'll just set that up and there we go. So I'm just gonna do that for this whole bag. I will zip through that.
have seven baggies and it said 10 servings on the container, so I think that's good enough, honestly. The last thing I'm going to prep um, before I actually prep my dinners are these baby carrots. And I'm actually just going to put these baby carrots in this little Tupperware. Um, just because I feel like it just makes my life a little bit easier, keeps them sealed, and I don't have to worry about this mess. So, put one more carrots in there. Oh shoot, I still got some carrots left. Let's put some in bags too. And there we go. All my snacks are ready to go, packed, easy for me to grab. And then obviously my granola bars I just take and go. And so now let's go ahead and move on into the meal bag. Okay, hello friends. So I just cut up all the watermelon and whoa, watermelon is hard to cut and it takes a really long time. I was not feeling it. I'll show you what I got so far meal prep wise. Here's the watermelon and then here are all my snack baggies that I can just take to go. So it's looking good. These are banana. Um, looking good. Now I am just have to meal prep my dinners and then I will be good, ready to do some homework. Okay, so we're about to start meal prepping. Um, this is the pasta that I'll be making. I have some shrimp here that I'm gonna be sauteing and then these are the vegetables. I can't decide if I just wanna do peas for the whole week or do like half peas, half edamame. So we will see. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how this angle is or if you can see my face, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So I went ahead and filled this medium-sized pot with water. I'm gonna go ahead and cook the rigatoni. And so the rigatoni says it takes like 12 to 13 minutes. And I'm not gonna cook, I don't think I'm gonna cook the whole thing just because it says to add a lot of water and like <sighs> your girl's pot's not that big. So, so I'm waiting for that water to boil. And while I wait for that to boil, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this pasta sauce into this smaller pot back here that I'm gonna go ahead and put the sauce in. I'm not gonna turn it on yet just because I don't think it'll take that long to heat up, but I might as well, <sighs> love that stuff. I might as well just get it in there. Genuinely don't know, like this is like a total guess. Uh, plot twist, never made like any of this before except for like the frozen stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, about half of the jar in there. And so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'll heat that up in a moment. Cause I figure it probably won't need like all of it, right? <laughs> Asking you is if you can answer me. So I'm just waiting for this to boil. Still chicken burger water takes so long to boil. That's the water girl, honestly, don't know what to do. Are you kidding me? I gotta put this in a container. Oh my gosh, the dishes I'm going to have to do. I swear to God. Ugh. <laughs> Dad family, like and subscribe. Okay, so I'm just emptying these peas into this big dish that I have. And it says, literally, it says two tablespoons of water, so that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, we boil it. We salting. 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 Hey. <laughs> microwave instructions. Empty frozen contents of bag into a two-quart microwave-safe dish. Right here. Add two tablespoons of water. Cover and microwave on high. Oh, because they steam. I like just comprehended what's happening. Okay, so I'm gonna put the peas in the microwave. Right as the water starts to boil, so that's good. I guess. Y'all, I'm like not experienced at all. I'm Jay chilling right here. We're just trying to make it work. Let's go ahead and pour the pasta in. I don't really know. There's not really room for more, so I'm just gonna tape this back up and put it back in the pantry for now. Well, that's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up the sauce. I'm just gonna have it on a very low, low heat because you don't want your sauce to like overheat and splatter everywhere. That would be a huge mess, I think. Again, I'm just guessing here. This guy's really not spinning. Hello? I think I fixed it. Call me handyman, handy soups. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cook the shrimp. I'm gonna just do a little bit of coconut oil and a little bit of butter in the pan to saute the shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the burner on. I'll turn it to a little bit over medium heat because I don't want to overheat them, but I don't want it to take 10 years to cook. So I'm just gonna do a little spoon of butter in there and a spoon of coconut oil. Let that melt and then I'm gonna go ahead and just pop the shrimp in there and saute them. So this is currently what the situation. Here's the pasta, I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. I'll just stir the sauce a little. This looks melted, so I'm just gonna spread that all around the pan. Okay, so the pasta is cooking, the sauce is heating, the shrimp is thawing slash sauteing. I'm just gonna start with this mini. Um, I'll probably do about one more of these, so I'll cook all of these. Um, I'd say this is about, this is about like 
20 shrimp, and I'll probably do 20 more um, approximately, and then the peas are almost done, so I will check in with you guys um, after everything is looking all cooked. We'll dish it up, and then, no, you can no prep this big, Alright, yo, I'm pretty proud of this. Like, honestly, here are the peas. They are done there. This is my shrimp, the noodles, and then here is the sauce that I heated up to go over the noodles right here. And I am actually so excited. This is so cool. I like never meal prep before, so it's kind of a big deal for me because it's like a lot of work and kind of hard. But I'm just going to go ahead and sit you guys right here so you can see what's happening. So I'm going to start with the pasta because it's going in the biggest compartment right here. So I'm just going to do... that much pasta in every container. Okay guys, so this is my meal without the sauce, so now all I have to do is add the sauce. Okay, so that was a day, dude. Like, I didn't, excuse me. Like, it didn't even feel like a long time, but bro, I'm so tired. Ah! I'm so tired. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I have to shower and clean up the kitchen now. I have to do all the dishes. And just like remember that if you do have a lot of dishes after you meal prep, it is, you know, for like a week. So that's good. I have to do that. I have to shower, clean the dishes, clean myself, and then I have a lot of homework to do. And then I plan on watching an episode of Supergirl and then going to bed. So it's been real fam. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join this dab family. A -a 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 -a. I hope you have an amazing, fantastic, wonderful, beautiful, blessed by God and Unicorns Day and Week and Life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.